Discord server. So since last episode, I've done some work over... Did that vine just grow twice? What are the chances? Uh, well, I sort of spoiled my intro there, but it's kind of funny that vine grew twice, I think. So you see this is sort of like a floating vine type thing. There are actually vines up here which allow them to stay. So, uh, the reason I made this farm is I think one of the things I'm going to sell at my general store is going to be vines. I've been working on this area. I want to get all the farms up and running. Is this volume kind of loud? Sounds loud. I want to get all the farms up and running here so that I can sell more stuff at my general store and make more diamonds. So my chicken farm, I don't think we'll really sell eggs. The really cheap stuff that we just want to give away, I'll put in the top layer of the general store, and it'll just be take whatever you want. Uh, cactuses, cactus farm is working. What else? Over here, I've been gathering some stuff. That changed, I believe. Yeah, because I think I said I was going to fix it, or complete it for last episode, but we didn't come here last episode. Uh, so this is sort of the design-ish, possibly possibly going farther up. Uh, for those of you who weren't subscribed to me or didn't see the video, uh, I used to have a little chest set up here and the entire thing got blown up <laughs> in a prank. Uh, completely not on purpose, but yeah. So I surrounded it in obsidian and water just as sort of a joke to make sure it doesn't happen again. Oop, sorry cow. Over here, hello squid. Over here, I've been farming up some... Wow, those cows are so loud. I farmed up some potatoes, wheat, and carrots. Possibly for the general store, but there's also that grocery store opening up uh, at Spawn. So we might not sell food there. We'll have to see what the grocery store sells. Because we don't want to sell anything, except for witch drops, <laughs> I guess. But we don't want to sell anything that already has its own store. Uh, over there is something cool as well. Uh, this was a prank. I don't know if I left the sign up, actually, though. I love to see. Boy, the game sounds still sound really loud. Hold on a sec. I don't think they're actually loud. I think I have my headphone settings maxed out, so they sound really loud. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so yeah, over here, this is really cool. And... This is also <laughs> something I've been wanting to talk about. Uh, this area, that is. So this is from Karasa. Very nice. Congrats on your recent success. This is really, really cool, actually. I think I'm going to leave it here. It's... I don't know. It's just really cool. Uh, but yeah, so this used to be where I was going to put all of my subscribers up to, you know, probably a few hundred or so. Uh, possibly further, depending on how fast I gain subscribers at that point. But I was going to go at least to a few hundred, possibly to a thousand. And, yeah, that's not going to happen anymore. <laughs> not because I wouldn't put up the first few hundred still, but my channel grew so quickly that I don't think I'm going to be able to figure out who was subscribed to me first. I don't think there's any way of doing that easily. Uh, yeah, and I don't have the time to, like, I don't know how you would figure it out, but I'm sure it's very time-consuming. If not, let me know, though, and I will do it. But, yeah, so this, this area will kind of be on hold. I don't know exactly what I'll do with it, but it'll still be something subscriber-based or something like that. And the YouTube thing is really cool right there. So, also, in case you haven't seen it, the very first episode of UHC came out. So, I've been very, very busy lately, and that's... This is just one of the things... I'm going to clean this up, by the way. I completely neglected to clean this up, so we're going to clean up while I'm talking. Uh, is this... Okay. So, the UHC is part of why I've been so busy... If you've never run a UHC, or like a server-wide event, then you probably don't understand this. And I used to like listen to Goode talk about this stuff, how like 
managing server is kind of difficult, and it is pretty... I mean, I love it. Don't get me wrong. I, I do enjoy doing it, but it takes a lot of... Oh, darn it. Broke that block. I don't know why I got so <laughs> disappointed at breaking it. I thought it was going to fall off the edge, I guess. Uh, I like doing it, but it is time-consuming. And then, if you saw my first episode, by the way, this is going to be spoilers. Not big spoilers for UHC, but small spoilers. Uh, oh, no, wait, that wasn't the first episode that it happened. Okay, never mind. I guess I won't say anything then. Uh, well, we, we had some, or I had some trouble with uh, the server. Anyway, uh, there was that. So, the other thing that happened, this is definitely going to be a spoiler for the first episode, is that I actually got an instant health potion from a witch the very first <laughs> episode that was so funny oh my gosh it just completely made my UHC uh, at that point I was just like yes no matter what happens this UHC I am so happy oh wow I just made that okay uh, that was just so awesome I got it from a witch and it was just sort of like we recorded it a while ago and it was actually just after Doc used my witch farm, so I don't know that sort of for whatever reason made it even more uh, <laughs> even more funny that it happened because it's like uh, I made the whole design and like that's sort of why I've become big on YouTube. You know, big being a relative term, of course, because uh, you know you could compare me to uh, a person with a hundred thousand subs and say that I'm ridiculously small but compared to what I was expecting or how many subscribers views stuff like that I was ex expecting to get you know I wasn't expecting to ever reach this point nevertheless in a few months so uh, that's totally crazy but yeah it was sort of just added to it the fact that Doc could just use that and then I happened to get <laughs> an instant health potion from a witch in UHC. That was crazy. And also someone mentioned that it was like uh you could also say I got a potion in the first episode of UHC. Just kind of funny. I didn't think of that. And it was uh oh, well I, I need to stop talking because I'm going to start spoiling things for UHC in future episodes. So never mind. Uh yeah, the other thing uh is PVP videos my so someone asked how I get to play with so many Minecrackers on the Play Minecraft server. And it is complete luck, actually. Part of it was open beta. A lot of it was... Or not open beta, closed beta, because I got patron. And it was a lot easier to play with them then, because there were just less people overall. And a lot of them tried it out. Like, Etho only tried it out for one day, I think. And I happened to get to play with them. Which is awesome, but then uh, after that, like my last one, I wasn't even planning to play with someone. I was just, uh, I was just going on there to record a normal episode, and then pff, Kurt ends up in the game. <laughs> so who knows? Whatever. Uh, I don't expect it to be every episode, but it was really cool that it happened. So let's see. Uh, we did that. Oh, there's one other thing I want to talk about before we get to doing something. Actually, while we do something, you know what I wanted to do is the only automated farm that we need so far, or left, that we need still, that's, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for, still, is pumpkin and melon. So I want to see, let's put away some, some, some nether brick, I guess in here is fine. And mob drops. Why do I have so many mob drops on me? Oh my gosh. By the way, I guess the other automated farm I could do is the potion. Uh, the potion, my own potion thing. I guess, I've never mentioned this, but I really don't enjoy making these big technical builds in Minecraft. Uh, often. Like, I like it sometimes, but I prefer designing them far prefer designing them to actually building them. So, in case you haven't seen this, this is just... All my farm, which farm does is it... They fall down, they die, and then the drops go here. And I have a bunch, by the way. Well, 
well, I guess not as much glowstone as some other things. Uh, cause that's my hot seller on the uh, the general store. By the way, I should probably lower the prices of the other things since they're not selling. Like redstone, I have so much of it that I could lower the price. Uh, but yeah, anyway, the pumpkin and melon farm is the other one I want to get up and running. That might also be something that's sold at the grocery store probably, but we don't have to sell it. I would just like it to say that I have the farm. And I want to sort of design something for it. But while I'm talking about that, uh, I had... When I was like at 700 or so subscribers, I had an idea for a hundred, or not hundred, thousand subscriber special. And I thought, oh, you know, I'll have a couple months to work on it. Uh, and of course I didn't get that much, which is awesome. But let's do, do want regular, this pistons. Hmm. We need that and we need melons or something to test this. Do I not have melons? Pumpkins. Will this work? Hold on. I'll have to see. Uh, but yeah. I was expecting to have a lot of time to do it, and I wanted it to be something... Yeah, okay, so that does work. And then... What about this? Whoops. <laughs> Just <laughs> place a torch next to it. I wanted it to be something where... It, I was actually giving something to my subscribers. Like, something that you could use. I don't want to give it away completely. But I didn't want it to just be, here's a picture of me with the number 1,000 on top of my head. Even though, like, that's, you know, that's that's what a lot of specials are. But I wanted to do something different. So that works. And then this should also work. Aha. This is a design I saw on Reddit for, uh, what type of farm was it? Sugarcane farm, I think. Basically, you have... I think it was, it must be two sticky pistons, like this, right? And then instead of having a piston, like, say, next to each pumpkin plant, you just have this go along. Oh. Oh, wait. That's interesting. How do you get it back and forth? Hold on. How does this work? <laughs> Because if this was a regular piston, then it would work. Right? Because then we could have that. Anyway, this is the basic idea. But I don't know how you'd get it to go backwards, then. Hmm. I'll have to go check that design. But yeah, that's the general idea. And then the guy had uh, stacked hopper minecarts, which went along the bottom. Which will be a little more difficult because these will be at the same level as the hopper minecart. So we'll have to figure that out. That might not be possible. Oh, no, no, no. It, it should be. These will just have to be like pulled off to the side and then the hopper minecart will have to go. But yeah, that's that design. And I'm still going to do a thousand subscribers special. I'm still going to do that special. It's going to take me a while to do. I was expecting to have a lot more time. And that's also another thing that I've been working on a lot. Uh, one of the reasons I've been so busy. But it will happen. It's just going to be delayed a little bit. And possibly not as thorough as I was going to make it before. I don't know. I'll have to see. Uh, it's sort of difficult to <laughs> talk about it again without giving spoilers. But the other thing uh, that I want to check out today was... And Tharion made an automated wither uh, tree farm. And I wanted to go try to find that. So I'm going to see if I can figure out where that is. And we'll take a look at it. Alright, so here we are. He put it underground, it looks like. Oh, man, this is so cool. Oh, that's awesome. Hold on, I need to turn down. Was that? Hostile creatures. Um, that's not getting any quieter. Let's just turn <laughs> master volume down. It's probably the explosions. Oh, follow him. This this is a crazy space that he cleared out. Unless it was already cleared out, I guess. Looks like it ran through a ravine or something. Ooh, 
Fancy. Do I need a sapling? Oh, that is so cool. I don't know where the saplings go, though. In here, maybe? Well, I'm out of saplings, but that that is so awesome. And then it automatically gets destroyed. Oh, bone meal in there. Wait, is it using bone meal? Oh, no, okay, it's just filling up. I was about to say, it shouldn't use bone meal unless there's something there for it to bone meal. Cobblestone. Apples. And then I wonder where the wood ends up. Is that where he's going? Oh. It's cool that he has a spawner here, too. Is that skeleton, it looks like? Very nice. I guess it, it's smart because you don't have to like this doesn't have to be anywhere in particular. Oh, sweet! So this works with. He said all saplings except for spruce. I think should work with. I don't know whose design this is. Let's ask him. So I can link it in the description, in case you're curious. Oh man, this ravine. Sweet. It's interesting, you can actually... Oh, well, I don't... I'll try to find him. I don't know who he is. But it's interesting, you can, it's actually... It's really far underground, but you can see the wither. Even... Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Maybe his in-game name is something that I would recognize. Uh, so anyway, I will link him in the description. But that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching. I like how he uses iron blocks. He's just so rich. He uses iron blocks for the wiring. Oh, man. Hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time.